Hi, this is Captain from FascinatingCaptain.com. Linux is a fantastic operating system, but if you've never used it before, how do you get started? Well, you'll need to create a bootable USB drive or even a bootable DVD disk. First, I'll show you how to get your copy of Linux. Next, I'll show you three methods to create a bootable drive using a DVD, using a USB drive on Windows, and using a USB drive on Linux. Finally, I'll show you how you can boot from the drive so that you can try or install Linux. There are many, many versions of the Linux operating system which are known as distributions. Some are designed to be easy to use, while others have advanced users in mind. Three popular choices for first-time users are Ubuntu, Elementary OS and Linux Mint. For this video, I'll download Linux Mint. You can find all the links for this video in the description section below. The download is an ISO file that we are going to unpack onto a DVD or USB drive. If the computer you want to try Linux on has a DVD drive, this is the easiest way to make a Linux installation disk. Go to the ISO file you downloaded earlier, right click on it and choose the option to burn disk image. Insert your blank DVD disk into the drive and click on burn. After a couple of minutes your disk is ready. You can unpack the Linux ISO download onto a USB drive using a program like the Universal USB installer. A cheap USB 2GB drive is fine for most Linux distros. Download the program. Now run the program and choose Linux Mint from the drop down menu. Browse for the Linux ISO file you downloaded and choose your USB drive. The installer will delete everything on the USB drive so make sure you copy your data first. After 5 minutes or so, the installation is complete and your USB drive is ready. This is a useful option if you already have Linux on your computer and want to try another distro. First, let's identify what our USB drive is called on the system. Open a terminal window and check the drives on your computer using this command. Now plug in your USB drive and run the command again. The drive shows as SDB, which is how Linux names its system drives. We'll be deleting everything on the USB drive, so this is a good way to make sure we've got the right drive. Next, we'll use the DD utility to unpack the downloaded ISO to the USB drive. This command will need to know where the ISO file is and the name of your USB drive. After pressing enter, the process will take 5 minutes or so for your USB drive to be ready. Plug in your USB drive or DVD and turn on your computer. Press F12 repeatedly while your PC starts to see the boot menu. If F12 doesn't work, try F9 or the delete key. Choose to boot from your USB drive or DVD. For newer computers, choose the UEFI option. Linux will boot and now you have the opportunity to try or install Linux. So, to recap, you need to download the Linux ISO file first and then use a utility to unpack the file onto a USB drive or DVD. You then boot from that drive and this launches Linux on your computer. The great thing about a live Linux drive is that it allows you to try Linux without making any changes to your computer. I'm pleased to say many visitors to my site and YouTube channel are first time Linux users. Well done for trying something new. Before I go, let me remind you that all the instructions and links for this video can be found on my website. Until next time, this is Captain from FascinatingCaptain.com